Welcome back to our continuing coverage of the impact on the overturning of Roe v. Wade from the Supreme Court today. You know, uh, today's decision has some wondering about the impact this might have on other issues. Democratic leaders told me they're worried, for instance, about what this may uh, mean for birth control and contraceptives and even gay marriage. I also fear the Indiana Republican Party will continue their crusade of violating the privacy rights of Hoosiers, including the right to marry the one you love, regardless of race or sexual orientation. And so what about that? We asked a political expert, a legal expert, uh, about this issue this afternoon, and he said, in his opinion, it is possible. Here's what he said. You saw Justice Thomas, in his opinion, saying, yes, I think it's time to roll up our sleeves and revisit those other issues as well. Um, this conservative Supreme Court seems so untethered from consideration about what mainstream public opinion wants or expects in constitutional law that I think nothing is off the table at this point. And when it comes to what states are going to decide, for instance, here in Indiana, you have Republican lawmakers, Anne Marie, who are saying we are listening to our constituents. We're representing what the people in our district want. Uh, Democratic leaders said they don't believe and they point to studies and surveys that show uh, that not everyone is in favor of banning abortion or at least not an all out abortion. And so that's part of what the debate is going to be here in Indiana during this special legislative session when state lawmakers reconvene here at the state house in about a week and a half. Yeah. And after that, we've got the November elections. No doubt this is just adding fuel to that yeah. debate.